Hi, I'm Ryan. Today we're going to put the CAPTCHA system in an Angular 12 app, and by the time we're done, we'll have this. This is a normal CAPTCHA window, and I don't want people to see something until I click this, and when I do, they get the secret email address. If you want to jump ahead, here are our timestamps. First, we're going to create the reCAPTCHA keys. Then, so we're on the same page, I'm very quickly going to create an Angular app, and then we're going to add reCAPTCHA to one of our components. Like all my projects, code and links are in the description. So the first thing we're going to do is go to google.com slash recaptcha slash admin slash create. And I'll make this my garden site login because everything for my projects is garden automation. I'm going to use recaptcha version 2. Version 2 has the checkbox that we saw. And I'm just going to use I'm not a robot checkbox. For the domains, you can put your real domain, but you'll also want to use localhost for testing. And when we're done, we want to come back and delete localhost from here. So I'll accept the terms of service and submit. And now we just need to copy the site key and we'll paste it in the text editor. We'll come back to this. Now just to make sure that I'm on the same page as you, I'm going to create an Angular app and I want you to see I'll be very quick with this. So ng new, I'll call this garden app, uh, routing yes, CSS. I'll cd into my garden app, ng serve dash dash port 4202 dash dash open and as that loads I'll open my code editor. Okay that's loaded I'm gonna get rid of the boilerplate. I'll go to source app app component dot html and I'll get rid of everything but the router outlet. And now because you're gonna be working on a component I will create a component so ng generate component or gc and I'll just work on home. I'll go to the app routing module I'll add my home component I'll add all the routes that point back to home and we can see in the app home works and now we're ready to put in our captcha. Okay, the first thing to do is go back to our terminal and type npm install or i ng dash recaptcha and then we'll save it dash dash save. I'll go to source app app module ts. I'll import the recaptcha module and now I will add it to imports. Now I can go to my home and I'll go open the TypeScript and the HTML files. So in my component, there's two variables I want to track. One is the captcha itself. And one is the secret that I want to hold back. I don't want anyone to see my email until I know they're a human. And inside the constructor, I'll set the CAPTCHA to an empty string. Basically, Google is going to give us back a key. And if CAPTCHA is empty, it's not a success. If it has a value, we know that's a person. And I'll set up my secret email. And the CAPTCHA itself is relying on a function called resolved. So we're going to get back the CAPTCHA response, either empty or a value. A value means it's a human. And then we'll log it in the home.html side. You can do this any way you like, but I'm going to have a section that toggles. So up top, this is hidden once we know that there's a value in CAPTCHA. So to the potential human, we have a reCAPTCHA tag, and we're going to call the resolved function when it gets resolved. We have to pass in our site key, and I'll paste that in. And now we see that on screen. And once we know that the person is a human, I can show them the email. And I'll inspect so we can see the log. I'll click. We got the resolution. And we can now see the secret emails. Now, just remember, when you're done with testing, come back and delete local host. And then it's safe to deploy to production. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you.